Hello everyone, welcome to a new series learning Windows PowerShell in English. So there has been a lot of subscribers who are requesting for this series to be presented in English. So here we go, the series is available for you in English from now on. So this is a series introduction video in which we are going to talk about the topics that we are going to cover in the entire Windows PowerShell journey. So this is an end-to-end -end series on PowerShell, so a complete series that is presented to you in English from the very basics. So if you are looking to learn Windows PowerShell from the very beginning, this is the right course for you. So let's get started to see what we are going to cover in this series. So to begin with, we'll start with PowerShell basics, the very basics, which means we'll talk about the number of versions that are available with PowerShell and what operating system shipped with what version of PowerShell and what if you're running on a lower version of PowerShell and if you want to get upgraded to a latest version and then we will move on to something called as commandlets so in PowerShell commands are called as commandlets so there is no specific reason why they are called commandlets uh, probably I would think that Microsoft want to name it very unique so maybe that's the reason why they named it commandlet first so in this uh, unit we are going to look at various different commands how to find a command when you need one and uh, if you don't know how to execute a command what are the necessary steps and uh, uh, what are the necessary things you are going to look in Windows PowerShell for you to get started so a very basics again in terms of uh, how to use commandlets and how to find commandlets and then we'll move to an important concept called PowerShell remoting Remoting is one of the powerful features in Windows PowerShell which gives you the ability to connect to a remote machine or to a multiple remote machines at the same time and execute the code that you have uh, passed. So we'll see how remoting work in depth and also we'll try to understand some of the fundamental concepts and also some technical aspects of PowerShell remoting in terms of what are the ports and protocols that remoting uses. And then we'll move on uh, to learn uh, a, a new set of features called WMI and uh, SIM. WMI is often referred to as uh, Windows Management Instrumentation and SIM is uh, often referred to as Common Information Model. So these two technologies are a way to interact with one of the repositories that Windows has which is having a lot of information related to system management like hardware, software, every set of information that is there in the repository can be interpreted using these two commands so WMI and SIM technologies so we are going to talk about WMI and SIM technologies in detail uh, in this particular unit and then later on we'll talk about uh, PowerShell jobs jobs are essentially a way uh, to make PowerShell uh, do multitasking in the background which means normally when you execute a command you need to wait until the console output is displayed and then you can go ahead and type in another command and wait for that to complete and produce an output but PowerShell background jobs or PowerShell jobs are essentially is a way to make PowerShell do things in the background so there are a lot of different jobs a remoting job and uh, a background job and WMI also has some jobs we are going to definitely talk about how the jobs are going to work within PowerShell and some of the use cases why we need to use them and then the powerful feature in PowerShell which is the PowerShell pipeline so pipeline is essentially combining two commands together so we are going to see how the combining works how the output of one commandlet can be taken as an input to a different commandlet. This pipeline can be as simple as possible or as complex as possible. It definitely needs a lot of time and, and uh, training to get uh, how, to understand how the PowerShell pipeline is going to work. And then we're going to talk about some of the advanced pipeline techniques using which we are going to know more about the PowerShell pipeline and then you can start using the pipeline within your scripts then we'll start our new topic altogether which is a script blocks essentially to get started or onboarded uh, onto Windows PowerShell scripting and then functions are a way to make your PowerShell code look very professional uh, or otherwise you can say that uh, you can write scripts and uh, make scripts the way the PowerShell developers normally does 
so this is going to get you started with the functions and then we are going to talk about some advanced functions which is a high level overview of what a function is all about and make your code much more powerful and then powershell workflows and finally we are going to wrap up with that topic workflows and we will see how powershell workflows work within windows powershell so i hope this video series is going to help you to get started with windows powershell and uh, let's get started with the first unit powershell basics from the next video thank you and if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and please click the bell icon to get notified for my rest of the videos in this series thank you and have a wonderful day